Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to finally finish up the Automatron DLC. But before we do, I did go ahead and level up. Uh, once while I was building on Sanctuary. So we're going to put a level in and then we are going to build Jezebel a body. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go into our pit boy. We're going to come over here and we got cap collector. Now we're going to get armorer. Mm. I guess we can't get Rifleman yet. So yeah, we're going to get Armorer, and then we're going to get Rifleman, and then uh, Locksmith. Yeah. That sounds good. Let's go over to the robot workstation, or workbench. We're going to construct a new automatron. We're going to go to the head. I'm sorry. I, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. We're going to put on Jezebel's head. And that's all we're going to do. If you want to make her into some crazy looking robot, you can. you got a lot of different Mama options. Is good as her word, kid. Totally no up to you. Cams. No more sight either. Let's go ahead and talk to Jezebel. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive, the Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. The Mechanist gave you these instructions? To kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. And you're going to be a brain pate if you don't tell me how to access the Mechanist's facility. There's no need to be rude. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist's facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Now where should I put my script? Anything I can do? We're gonna Did talk to that? Ada. Hey. How may I be of service? 
Hey, Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. Is there a chance these robots could be misinterpreting orders? Yes, I've considered the possibility. The contradictory nature of the Mechanist's broadcasts are troubling. But the truth is, regardless of intent, the Mechanist needs to be stopped. These robots are too much a threat. Were you able to discover how to gain access to the Mechanist? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? Did you have any ideas? I am at an impasse. I wish to see the Mechanist endure the same fate as my friends, but I know this to be due to my personality subroutine. When I compartmentalize, I want to know reason and motive before passing judgment. This is why I leave the decision to you. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. We're going to go ahead and install the MSAT that on Ada. I'm a little jealous of folks who could craft something other than a paragraph. It's always fascinating watching you create. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss him so much. Uh, good for you, bud. <laughs> that was really mean of me, but Jesus. Everybody's talking all at the same time. So the Mechanist Lair is right across the waterway from the Old North Church. So instead of walking all the way around, we're just going to fast travel to the Old North Church and take a short swim over to Robco Sales and Service Center. Okay, we're going to come out here. See the Brotherhood of Steel blimp over there. Pretty cool looking. Pretty cool. And then right over here, you can see that we're going to be going into this building. So take some Rad X. I hate deep water. I know there is nothing in this water, but it always creeps me out. I think I have a phobia with it. I think anybody would have a phobia in deep, murky water. Come on. It's just creepy. You don't know what's down there, right? Okay, normally you can go through the front, but then you have to like go into a terminal and all of that stuff. And it's just not worth it. You can if you want, but we're going to take the back entrance. That's it. Let's go over here and we're going to use the MSAT to open up this door. Here. Most dramatic door opening ever. Come on, Ada. Incoming robot detected. Opening security doors. If you run side to side, by the way, you can make your companion run faster towards you. Go ahead and take these robots out. Let's grab the fusion core. 
You can hack, not hack. You can lockpick this security gate if you'd like to. Some loot in there. Go ahead and use the MSAT again. Over here. Come down this way. And then across the way we have a turret. Did you hear that? We may have an enemy nearby. No more hiding for you. Good riddance. Got a couple of robots we're gonna have to take out. Some lore to read if you want to read it. I think there's some stim packs up here too. Even though we have like over 200, well over 200. Yeah, 265. We are stacked on some stim packs. We're going to go up to the top real quick, kill a couple of robots, and then we're going to listen to a hollow tape. Okay, let's backtrack just for a second here. And we're gonna come over here and listen to a hollow tape. So far, we're tracking on schedule for the latest RoboBrain milestone. Doctor Asante has assured me that the active time between memory wipes has been greatly increased. Hopefully, that will hold true in our latest live testing. The senior engineers also inform me that their latest assembly line adjustments have been completed early. I can only hope that means due diligence was still paid, and we're not going to be looking at a total system breakdown again. Other than that, I'm still worried about the, uh, test subjects. Right now, we've got more than enough to meet our demand. But it's not like these things grow on trees. If you find any spare parts, you be sure and let me know. Sorry about that. I thought I took out all the robots so we could listen to the hollow tape peacefully, but apparently I did not. There's a turret right here. Get ready for a fight. Careful, sir. I don't think we're alone. This is gonna be another sentry kind of bot. Sure, Ada, you go well be done, cannon sir. fodder. 
I promise you're not a distraction. We're gonna come up here, press the button. You can loot inside there if you want. I'm not gonna bother with it. Get Ada to use her MSAT again. Scan this. Then we'll have her use it again. Open this. Also, just a quick side note. We are going to backtrack through this whole mechanist layer. We're just picking up the hollow tapes so that we can take an alternate way through the mechanist layer and to the mechanist. It's actually pretty cool. I don't think many people do it this way. The Commonwealth is right to fear people like you. People who have no respect for human life, who only wish death or pain for those around them. That is why I, the Mechanist, have made it my solemn vow to protect the innocent, to put an end to people like you. Get him, sir! <laughs> Not much of a threat after all. Right here, if you want to upgrade Ada or whatever robot you're traveling with, you can. Jesus, those robots are super loud. Should be another one right over here. Take some rat away. And then we'll take a stim pack as well. There's a robot playing dead. Also, if you don't want to pick up the mods for the robots, you don't have to. You're going to get all of the mods anyways after completing the DLC. Go ahead and shoot over there. That way you can get rid of the explosives. I'm sure, Ada. Oh, it's breakdancing. What? <laughs> oh, shit. Careful of the rads. There's a bunch of um, reactors down there. Nuclear reactors, I guess. So you'll take a few rads. We're going to come over here by this terminal. And right here, we're going to find our second hollow tape to listen to. Let's go ahead and listen to it now. Tony Delano facilities. Air filtration's on the fritz again. Constant haze in here. I swear to God, if these people don't quit smoking, I want to sue for health benefits. Yeah, like anyone here would allow that to happen. Anyway, I got McDaniel up there taking a look. But if that fan needs replacing again, 
I'm having Fadley fired. I don't care if he is some hotshots kid. He can't do this job. And I'm the one that's got to answer to Rawlings. And those iBots are quick on the draw, aren't they? Come on, Ada. <laughs> Whenever she gets on this lift, she does the robot. Do 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 do. Her AI just freaks out. Open this. We're almost through the mechanist's layer. Here. Come over here, grab ourselves a terminal password. We're going to hack into that terminal after looting some of this stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, go into this terminal. Right here is a ton of loot. Find anything useful? If you're looking for some ballistic fiber, this is an awesome place to get it. Just a ton of loot. All right, Ada, you're in the way. Move. We'll grab those. Why not? Anything else? Nope. We'll crouch again. And then we're going to come around here. And we're going to look in every cell over here because there are some ghouls that are still alive. And we want to take them out. Like, is he still alive? Grab the buff out. And that's all of them. Grab this skull. 
Now you don't have to deal with any ghouls if the door is open. I believe upstairs there's a terminal you can use and open up all these doors. Come on, Ada. Yeah, just run side to side. That's a little trick to get your companions to move fast. Well, faster may not be fast, but... Their speed should pick up just a little bit. We're going to come over here and pick up our last hollow tape. Let's go ahead and listen to the Chief Scientist hollow tape. Anise Ciroletti, Chief Scientist. This is the third time I've had to request more security. As thorough as our assembly procedures may be, there's a human factor to be considered. These are criminal and unstable minds. It can't be a scientist's job to ensure each test subject is properly sedated. I was promised military assistance and security, but we need more. I won't allow my crew to be endangered. As fascinating as it may be to integrate the human mind with robotics, Sometimes I wish I never signed on to this project. Let's go ahead and come over here. We're going to take out a robo brain here. Two more robots over here. They're being really sneaky. There they are. Safety's off. That takes care of that. We're gonna come over to the Robo Brain, get the medical terminal password. Then we're going to come over here. Open this up. Over here. And then right over here is the main mechanist layer. You can absolutely go in here and fight a bunch of robots if you want to. The thing about it is, is that it's a pretty tough fight, and if you're going to do it, I would do a quick save right here, because it's likely that you may die. What I'm going to do is backtrack and get into the mechanist layer a different way, or well, the main part of the layer. Obviously, we're in the mechanist layer, but I'm just saying we're going to take a different route. Just a heads up, you do need master hacking to do this. So if you don't have that, I would take the route I just showed you. Come on, Ada.
we're gonna hop down right here just keep backtracking we're we're literally just going pretty much to the beginning of the mechanist layer actually we are going to the beginning not pretty much By the way, if you still need to give Abbott the green paint, right here's some green paint that you can give him. Although I don't know why you would need to, but if you need to, you can scoop that up and give it to Abbott and complete the quest. can loot in there if you want. I know I said that earlier. Just reminding everybody. We're almost there. Alright, if you come through here and then just go along here, there's a hole in the wall. Which we could have used this terminal to hack into and turn off those turrets. You can also lockpick this door and get in here as well. We're not worried about that. Right here, we're going to hack this terminal and then we're going to put some hollow tapes in. We're going to initiate manual override. Let's go ahead and load in the Chief's Scientist Holotape. Now we've already listened to him, so we're not going to listen to him. We're going to hit stop, eject the holotape, and then we're going to load in the next holotape, which is the facility's director's holotape. Tony and then we're going to eject that one. Load in the last hollow tape, which is going to be the lead engineer's hollow tape. Lead engineer. And then we're going to eject the hollow tape and then confirm manual override. Now we can exit and the elevators open. Going See ya, Ada. Down. It's stuck. Control center. So we can come over here. There's a little button right here. We can hit that and it'll open up a door. Grab some loot. So you can go into this terminal and it'll unlock this safe, but the safe's already unlocked, so I don't know why that's a thing I don't know we can come in here and see a bunch of the mechanist memorabilia pretty cool for those of you that don't know the mechanist is from Fallout 3 it was the mechanist and the antagonizer uh, from Fallout 3 you had a little side quest that you could do so it's really cool that they brought this back kind of like a nod to Fallout 3 if you want to read the mechanist log, you can. It's just her diary. Impossible! 
I control all points of access to this room. You underestimated me. A regretful miscalculation. You bypassed the pinnacle of free war security systems. I can see you're no common criminal. Perhaps we can reason this out. Let us discuss this amicably. Unmask yourself, mechanist, and stand ready for judgment. You're... you're right. I'm no match for the Silver Shroud. There. Now we both know who we're dealing with. Again, you cast me as the villain? Ho oh, ho! But it is you with your rampaging robots. They have taken innocent lives. My friends, they were simple traitors. All dead at the hands of your robots. No, that can't be right. The robots are programmed to protect. Their subroutines are clean. Observe, evaluate, and react accordingly. The testing was thorough. I ran every scenario, all past. The blood of innocence was spilled. Your own lackey confessed. Her twisted logic leading to tragedy. Saving by killing? No, it's the logic. It's there. I can see it now. I was hoping it was the robo-brains, an issue with their memory wipes. But you're right. <sighs> their primary directive was flawed. So, the veil is lifted and the truth revealed. Your technological hubris is to blame. I wanted to help the Commonwealth. And robots are all I know. I found this place and figured I could finally do my part. I accept full responsibility. I can't take back what I've done, or even atone for it. But this doesn't have to end in violence. Though your action initially appeared felonious, your intent was not. Seek redemption, Mechanist. You have much to atone for. Done. Consider it done. And you won't regret this. I promise. None of the Commonwealth will. Here, take this. It's the password to the mainframe. You can use it to shut down the security protocols. I just... I'd rather this place be in your hands now. So if you're wearing the Silver Shroud costume, or get up, whatever you want to call it, then you get that special dialogue. That's the only reason why I'm using the Silver Shroud um, costume. Let's speak with the Mechanist. Mechanist. Hey, just one more thing, if you have a minute. Sure, go ahead. Oh, good. Um, Isabel, that's my name, Isabel Cruz. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you've let me stick around here. And in order to show you that I'm done with the past, I want you to have this as a sort of Promise, I guess. It's the mechanist suit I made. Thank you. You're welcome. There's one more thing. A much bigger thing. There are still robots out there. Lots of them. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are. If you're interested. No way. That's okay. Maybe later? If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Let's go talk with Ada. That's way up here. Going up. Secure 
Facilities screening room three. Hey. What can I do for you? Ada. Your return is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the robo-brains were doing. To her, a life saved was a life saved. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She's good at heart. She made a mistake. A big one. And she'll live with that guilt. I believe I have a certain understanding when it comes to guilt. While it's not the justice I had hoped for, it will suffice. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the Mechanist's robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. Let's take the elevator Going back down. down. Control center. We're going to come out this way. You can use this as a base as well. Totally up to you. And then we are going to exit out to the Commonwealth. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.